bless the UPS rather than bless the USPS because we have some heavy ones today folks well this is monster box two of multiple and we are collecting as per usual my favorite round of all the rounds and that of course is another beautiful box with my favorite American brick clippers Inglehard vintage rounds are some of the only types of rounds that I like to collect and so let's take a look at a little bit of a sampling like we normally do with these larger orders because it's not practical of course to break into everything so let's start with this lucky box there's going to be slit on each side and opened up and now the first thing that I've been used to looking at here is have they been providing with an authentic Engelhard tube? And so, in this case, it doesn't look like it. Or did I speak too soon? You know, I spoke too soon. This is an authentic Engelhard plastic tube. And um, so I'm very, very excited that they provided this to me because that, that in and of itself, yes, it's plastic. Yes, it may not have much inherent value, but it has collectible value. And so right, oops, sorry. Right here we got a nice set of American Eagles. Sorry, Silver Eagles, not to be confused with American Eagles. Came out around the same time, and this is in 1984. So this is actually the first year that the American Eagle was minted. And so this is another pristine 1984 Eagle. I'm very, very excited that I have a nice, healthy stack of 1984 Eagles, um, because those to me are quite special. Um, Every perspective around is special, and that's why I'm quite obsessed with them. But uh, I would say that the 1984 Eagle is quite special. Well, it's not that difficult to find now. Um, it's quite special because it's the first year that they had the Silver Eagle. And let's let's be frank, that the American Eagle that is ever so popular today, that was inspired by the Silver Eagle, in my humble opinion, because the, the Silver Eagle started around 1984, and that went until 1987. And guess, guess why Englehart stopped producing rounds? Because the American Eagle crapped all over the rounds, right? So Prospector rounds were the first rounds that were really made public, that were distributed publicly to the to the public. And so Engelhardt basically, in my opinion, got driven out of business because the American Eco was so utterly popular and was not, not much more expensive than the Prospectors. And so those really took off because their government meant to bullion. Now, <laughs> come on, now, so that at that time, at that point in time, Engelhardt was an existing company, one of the only existing companies. So it was like going and buying a round from Amazon, right? going on AppMax and buying a generic round from them. So that's a different story. You can compare, yeah, government to bullion for around the same price, you know, maybe a couple of dollar premium. It makes sense to do so then, but I don't think it makes sense anymore. And if you can, and on top of that, if you can get these vintage rounds that literally are not made confirmed anymore, and people, every single store I know, every online store, including these wonderful people here, they treat these like generic rounds pretty much. So, you know, I'm sorry, but I just think that people don't understand what the, what, what the word vintage means, right? Uh, but anyways, that's 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 really great, you know, for people who are really into stacking all arts because that means the price is still reasonable, right? It's reasonable for us to stack these as long as you can kind of get out of that mindset. Those are 1985 Eagles, by the way, uh, of, you know, oh, I, I'm only going to pay spot. <laughs> I'm only going to pay $2 above spot or I'm not buying. Okay, go, go buy your, you know, go buy whatever you can find then for a round spot, which isn't much, possibly anything. Um, logo it's another authentic tube here eagles 1984 eagles 1984 eagles so you know i always talk about how i like the e-logos more and that's because they're more rare and just look at this we, we we keep stumbling across silver eagles um there's not considerably you know fewer uh, e-logos out there but for whatever reason it's uh hard to come by those so 1986 
is going to be an eagle as well. It's 1986 as well. Another 1986. So, you know, it's very possible that whoever I picked these up from, whoever, dropped, whoever actually um, sold these, um, it's very possible that they could nicely organize these. And so you might have, you might find that I have tubes full. I mean, I might have tubes full of the same same thing, which will make organizing these very, very easy for me. Um, I mean, as easy as it gets, right? So let's take a look and break into one more of these. Let's see what we got. Wow, they're really hooking it up with the authentic uh, Inglehard tubes. These are not, not easy to come by anymore, I don't, I don't believe, right? Because there's only so many authentic tubes out there, right? There's only so many prospectors made, so there's only so many authentic plastic angle hard tubes out there. So these, you know, I'm going to be putting really special rounds into these authentic angle hard tubes, such as like maybe a stack of 1983s, something like that. Here's a 1984 Eagle, 1984 Eagle. It just boggles my mind how pristine these are, though. They look like, you know, I don't understand why people pay money for proof coins, because this is damn near a proof coin in my in my opinion so it just doesn't really make sense to me why why uh people pay for proofs uh, one of my favorite channels uh, average stacker right he uh he learned an expensive lesson he he used to um i mean i don't know if he's still really into proof coins but he was very much into proof coins when he you know uh, in, the, in the recent past and he's just gotten burnt by multiple proof coins that have come directly from the mint and uh he's found blemishes and scratches and things on the edges of the rim and that's just not, you know, you're paying sometimes, uh, I would say, uh, 20 times above spot sometimes for these proof coins. I saw on Atmex, oh no, I guess 10 times above spot. I saw on Atmex, $400 a proof two-ounce coin. That's that's, that's 10, 10 times above spot. So it's just like kind of crazy to me. But uh, anyways, 1985. Another 1985. It's a tube of 1985s from my best guess. This is not an authentic tube, and neither was that last. So we got a little bit of disappointing news there, but really, honestly, these plastic tubes, these are a bonus if I, if I get them, honestly. This thing is still sealed. Um, you know, they're a bonus if I get them, because I wasn't, I, it's not like I paid for authentic Ingle Hard tubes. I, I paid for authentic random year rounds, and you know, that's what I got. 1987s, that's that's fun. You know, I know, I know a lot of people out there appreciate the 1987, so it looks like this might be a whole tube of 1987s. Very cool. And uh, let's see what this last one is. And then, you know, uh, we've got three more boxes after that, after that that I'll probably go through. Another non Inglehard um, tube. Um, so, I'll, you know, I'll go through these other other three boxes myself. But I just wanted to give you guys and gals a little bit of a tasting. Um, this is a 1985 Eagle. Um, so, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this second unboxing of my large Prospector Ape. Peace! Ow, 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 ow,